tonight only on 10. A tribute remembering a beloved member of Portsmouth Law Enforcement. 95-year-old Roscoe Strickland passed away late last month. And according to the sheriff, he was perhaps the country's oldest honorary deputy. He was also a husband, a father, and to many, a cowboy. Penny your size, Liz Kilmer shares his legacy tonight. And Tom Anita, he was the only Portsmouth deputy authorized to wear a cowboy hat. And you see it with him here in a uniform he proudly wore for years into his 90s with the sheriff's office. I spoke with deputies and his son. They remember him as someone who loved law enforcement and always strived to do what was right while making you smile. You go first. Everybody called him cowboy. When I was young, it was embarrassing, but he was he was who he was. He did what he wanted to. And a lot of the time, what Roscoe Strickland wanted to do was spend time in his personal museum, full of memorabilia collected over 95 years. Sitting in this chair and listening to his music and just looking at everything and reliving everything. Otherwise, his son Ray says you could find him at the Portsmouth Sheriff's Office. It was a, a morale boost most of the time. I mean, you see old Strick over there and everybody, you know, they talk about their aches and pains and a guy comes in 95 years old wearing a gun and a uniform. All of a sudden, your aches and pains mean nothing to you anymore. Sheriff Bill Watson believes Roscoe was the oldest honorary deputy in America, a title he held in Portsmouth proudly for more than a decade before passing away last month. He would always uh, take time out, stand before the recruits. He would explain to them the importance of their job, how special it was to be in law enforcement. He was the type of individual who always wanted to do things the right way. Wanted to treat people fair, make sure everybody had the same chance and very compassionate man. And we learned a lot from him. And laughed a lot with him too, hearing of his admiration for John Wayne and how he loved riding horses, which he did into his 80s. He also liked dancing. So I look over my shoulder, he is dancing with the lady that's right behind me. And it just reminded me that how precious life is and how much he enjoyed life. He never took himself too seriously. While he loved the ladies, he really only had eyes for his wife, Betty Lou. She passed away in 2015. He wanted to be with her, so he's happier now. Together, Ray believes they're riding high. Here, he can cherish the memories. This is, this is his life. It's all right here. Life well lived, right? Yes. Very full life. Right. So there's actually a book written about him a few years wow. ago, just detailing his adventures, his journey. He lived in multiple states, had lots of hobbies. He even rebuilt a plane at one point. You can read much more about him on wavy.com. All right. Awesome. Great Thank chunk you of for American your story. History. Yeah. <laughs>